it's uh, morning. January the 9th. And we are vlogging. That's right, we're vlogging. We're making porridge, oatmeal porridge, as you probably can see. Um, basic, just oatmeal, protein powder. We'll put sugar on top and some other goodness that you'll see very soon. My breakfast is the smallest meal of the day, probably about six, seven hundred calories. I don't want too much food uh, before I'm training. So I'll be training in like a couple of hours. And so I don't want to overdo the breakfast. And then I'll rather have a big lunch and a big dinner. So it's pretty cold these days. So when I have time, I start my day here in front of the fire. Yesterday I had a long run. Still not very long, of course, it's uh, just 13 kilometers. Um, but you know, I'm building back after the injury and for me that's the longest run in quite a while, 13K. That was really, really nice, felt good. So that was a quality training day. So today is just a recovery day really, just an easy day. I'm gonna do a very short run and then I'll do a bunch of uh, strength and uh, core and mobility exercises. And then I'll go on my bike, my indoor bike, you know, the one back there. Let's put it there. I'll go on the bike for, uh, for an hour after that. It's Saturday, which means normally I would either have guitar students coming or coach a bunch of runners, but I had to cancel both because of the restrictions. So I'm just gonna make this vlog instead and do some editing a little bit of um, check up with my coaching clients. So I'm just going through some emails, planning the day a little bit, answering some comments on YouTube. So yesterday, um, the water in the pipes to the toilet uh, froze. It's pretty cold these days. So I had to put on a heater underneath the house. And now we're gonna go and check how the heater is doing. As usual, the, the key has frozen stuck, but yeah. So we have to thaw the key a little bit by just holding it like this, totally normal. Let's have a look at my shoe collection while I'm thawing the key. So there's my, uh, my two winter pairs that I've got lately. That's my winter shoes for normal walking or hiking. Bondi Ultra. The one under there, there's the Hookah Clifton, the old ones. And there's my Ultra Lone Peak spiked shoes. Look at this, the key has thawed. We can go out. Okay, yeah, it's pretty nice and warm in here. Or not really warm, but you know, I think this can be turned down even some more. Yeah, the house is uh, like a hundred, maybe two hundred years old. Beautiful day. Look forward to going for my run later. Bye. Getting ready for my run. One thing about winter is that you gotta dress up a lot. There's a lot of clothing involved in winter running. I've counted that I usually wear like 20 items of clothing when I go out for, for an easy run. It's time to put our shoes on. I'm gonna go with the Saucony Peregrine today.
so beautiful now. <laughs> there are a lot of positives about winter for sure. But I still hate winter. <laughs> it's just not my thing. Even though my birthday is in January, so who would have thought that I was a fan of winter? My my legs feel remarkably good after yesterday's long run. Well, first of all, the injury seems to be stable. Most of the time now, I don't have any pain, but there's a little bit of pain now and then. I, I can feel it now, but it's not very serious. 40K this week, you know, it doesn't feel like much because I used to run, as I've said a thousand times, I was up to like 100K per week back in uh, July 2019. So 40K doesn't feel like much, but compared to what I've been used to for the last few months, 40K is great. This is one of the coldest spots in the whole region. It might even be the coldest spot. This is where some of the cold records are set. This is how we do it in the winter in Norway under the current world situation. I'm gonna wrap it up there guys. I think I had a lot of fun today making the vlog. It's a lot of work though. It's a lot of work. Um, you sort of have to bring out the camera in every situation and this was nothing. Uh, some people vlog everything. And I guess it's just a lifestyle, but I guess I can do a vlog day every week, maybe. Once a week, I make the day a vlog day. But I don't want to get too caught up in having to vlog everything, as I said at the beginning. So I'm going to wrap it up there instead of sort of taking you through the whole dinner process and my evening routine. We'll do that in another video. For now, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. And I'm just gonna cruise on on the bicycle. And I wish you all a good day. And of course, as I said, do check out my coaching business in the link in the description. If you want some assistance with your training, maybe a custom training plan, check it out. Subscribe, like, and please tell me in the comments if you liked this vlog and if you want more vlogs like this i'll try and make more vlogs <laughs> i think it's pretty popular and it's a good way to to grow the channel and to share my life a little bit more not just babble on about you know training and science all right have an awesome day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye